Welcome to my latest case, The Curse of Blackmore Manor. Oh my god, Nancy, I love you. Junior or senior detective. You. Uh -huh. I may be new to Nancy Drew, but I'm not new to adventure games. I think I'm going to be a senior detective. Thank you very much, Nancy. Nancy. That sounded like somebody doing a silly voice. Puppy? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Zodiac, I guess we'll need to know that later. Oh man, we're gonna have to hunt the internet for clues too? I feel like something really strange is happening, but I strongly recommend that you go home as soon as possible. I can't go home empty-handed. It might jeopardize my ace detective status. I'm gonna say I that. I can't go home empty-handed. It might jeopardize my ace detective status. Linda? Linda's main symptom is that she can't take a freaking joke. Do you by any chance know Latin? Why would I ask a parrot that? Do you by any chance know Latin? How? Uh, this is not how parrots are. Bye, bird. You're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> You're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> what the fuck's happening? Why are the stairs making this sound? Oh, these are making the noises. What the fuck is this? Maybe I'm supposed to like repeat the sounds? Ding ding. Dong, dong. No, I'll never remember that. No, oh, no, no, I'll never remember that in a million years. What about downstairs? I guess I can't. I guess I can't go downstairs. Can I? No. Polly? <laughs> Hello. That's a girl that I need to get breakfast around here. Oh god, what's this? I need now? something else for this. Oh bloody hell. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of puzzling in this. There's gonna be a lot of puzzling going on. It's this room. Oh my god, it's huge! This is the biggest place I've ever seen! This is pretty, though. It's like a little greenhouse. This will be where Mrs... Frickin' Mrs. Danvers, whatever her name actually is, is hanging out all the time. <gasps> Frogs! Doesn't work. Water's off. Oops. I guess we need to get the water on there somehow. At some stage. For some reason. In a slide trap? Never is planned. Oh no, cool. it's one of those massive ones. Don't these usually smell like uh like rotting meat That's and stuff? Probably not a good idea. You might be right about that one, Nancy. All settled in? Good. I'm happy that you're visiting Linda, but I know how much you teenagers like your televisions and loud stereos, <laughs> so I must insist that you act respectfully and civilly while you stay with us. Okay. Since my nephew Hugh is away on business, I am in charge of this household. And if there's one thing I can stand, it's noise. Hugh's daughter Jane is staying with us and would very much like to meet you, but please try not to distract her. She has her studies and mustn't be disturbed during her lessons. This is a fucking huge mansion. You, I could easily be a few rooms away and watch TV and you would never know. Come on, lady. Is anyone else staying here? We do not have any permanent house staff, if that's what you mean. The Penvalents have always been self-reliant. We get on quite well without being continuously mollycoddled by a squadron of insipid, gossiping ne'er-do-wells. Now, we do have two other house guests. A Mr. Nigel Mukherjee, who is researching the Penvalen family history in the library. Right. And Ethel Bossamy, Jane's tutor. Lovely. Okay. The, uh, the, like, I guess it's meant to be a wrinkle. The line on her forehead makes it look like she's like an animatronic. And that that's where her head would, like, pop open. Do you know what's wrong with Linda? Oh, Linda simply needs some time to adjust to her new living situation. 
England is not the United States. We do things differently, or should I say properly, here. The doctor believes it's just a case of nerves. I mean, it does kind of seem like she's just depressed. Is that what you believe? I don't know, and the doctors don't know. No one seems to know anything. All I've been told is that Linda is unwell and that in her stead, I must look after matters. No, I please, must I really look after matters. Time to entertain you. you may have the run of the house, but do not break anything and refrain from mucking about with items that aren't yours. Two rules Jane seems incapable of following. She's and a kid. And before I forget, our kitchen is being remodeled, so our dining situation is rather unorthodox. I've made arrangements with a local restaurant to deliver meals to us. Weird. There should be a programmed number for them on the phone in your room. Feel free to order whatever you'd like. Okay. Uh, about that creepy dog I'm thing. I'm concerned about that thing I saw outside. It was purely your imagination, unless you saw a, a stray dog. But I will not countenance any histronics about this issue. We have enough to worry about with Linda. And please do not get any ideas about going outside to investigate. I do not want you tracking mud all over this house. Well, so I'm not allowed outside? What? Can you tell me about Lulu? Lulu is a very old parrot. She must be over 80 years old. Please be very careful with her, especially if you feed her. Parrots have quite delicate constitutions, you know. That sounds like a clue. Goodbye. Run along. What a strange, strange lady. Messing with her plants is probably not a good idea. We know why she's right there now. Do you have allergies, Mrs. Drake? Oh, yes. Hay fever. Although Same. I'm not at all sure what's worse. My allergies or that medication. It makes me feel as if I'm about to float right out of my shoes. Okay. I guess that's something we need to know for later as well. Who's hungry? Who's ready for some nummies? Did you say something, Mrs. Drake? Not to you, dear. Uh, okay. I would be very confused if she was talking to me. What's this? Looks like John Pendleton may have developed some of the plants that are in here himself. Cool. The Amateur Plant Hybridizers Association of Great Britain presents the 1912 Award for Outstanding Achievement to John Penvalin. Well done, sir. Well done, sir. Bloody good show. Bloody good show, sir. Okay, well. I'm glad I've inadvertently picked the... Great British English Britain Adventure. <laughs> Which is not that's not intentional. <laughs> oh gosh, there's a lot of like stuff going in places, you know? The fuck? Why would this be in somebody's house? What? Am I what? What's that? What? Okay. B bye. I don't... I don't know what's going on here, but I'm creeped out. Hey, that's the thing from my room. I thought I said so sick then. Okay. And then there's this thing, I've seen that as well. These folk, whoever they are. What's in here then? Oh, this must be the library. Ah yes, you must are be... you here from the agency? It's about time. Uh, no. no, I'm Nancy Drew, a friend of Linda's. How do you do? I'm Nigel Mukherjee. I'm researching the Penvalin family, and Mrs. Drake has graciously opened the library for me. Nothing much has been written about the Penvalins. Until now. Interesting. Sounds intriguing. It might have something to do with their scandalous history. Or perhaps it has something to do with the family treasure. Okay, tell me about the scandalous history first. That is my priority. Scandalous yeah? history? Well, having a family Juicy. member burned as a witch can hardly be considered a mark of pride, I dare say. And uh, then there's the whole business with the Blackmore Beast. Hey, this game was only from 2004. I'm pretty sure... We're all aware by 2004 that the whole burning of witches was kind of nonsense, right? Who was the family member? Eleanor Penvalin, 
tried and convicted of witchcraft in 1650, quite the height of the witch trials here in Essex. Wait. It was rumored that Cromwell arranged the conviction. Wait, wait, wait. We're in Essex. <laughs> Hold on. We're in a fucking castle mansion thing in Essex right now? I'm sorry. Okay, this guy's a guest, so it makes sense that he wouldn't have the accent. But if we're gonna be in Essex, we would not be talking like this, dear. She should be like a proper Essex lady, like she's actually just loves her plants. <laughs> I love that. I'm sorry. That's very funny. I'm pretty sure the Essex ac accent hasn't changed that much since 2004. Um, I know who Oliver Cromwell is, but I guess Cromwell? Nancy doesn't. Oliver Cromwell? Ironsides? <laughs> I suppose they don't teach history any longer in the US. Lady Penvelin was a rather vocal critic. I don't know any American history. Let's not be rude. Many of his enemies flee the country. Whether she actually was a practitioner of witchcraft is unknown. Although, many visitors to the manor during her tenure reported hearing strange, ghostly bells. Some even saw phantom hands floating about the manor, toning phantom their hands. charmed chimes. Charmed chimes. They're probably doing people's hair. They're probably doing people's hair and makeup, right? I'm sorry, I'll stop. I love Essex. Tell me about the Penvelin family <laughs> treasure. For centuries, the Penvelins have been very secretive. Some believe they're protectors of a fabulous treasure. Or right, of some why? dark secret. Yeah, but why do people believe that, though? That's not really... You haven't really given me any information for a researcher. Maybe he's keeping it to himself so he can write a book or when something. When I arrived here, I saw... I feel like I've gone a bit Essex now. Red eyes outside. Perhaps it was the Blackmore Beast. What's that? It's a story that's been told for generations out here. During the 1600s, many of the villagers reported seeing a strange beast with red eyes and giant fangs prowling the moors. They asked that sounds the like it. Blackmore Manor, Eleanor Penvelin, to put a bounty on the beast's head. But, oddly enough, she not only refused, she forbade anyone from hunting the creature. It was rumored that the beast was Eleanor's husband, whom she had cursed for finding out too much about the Penvelin secret. What on earth? <laughs> Isn't it forbade? Have I always got that wrong? Who are all those paintings of in the Great Hall? Those are the Penvelins who owned Blackmore Manor at one time or another. I feel like I could have deduced that on my own. To your work. Goodbye. See you later, mate. What a strange task. I love that he's just like a dude. Like a, a historian, I guess, whatever. And he just showed up and was like, I'd really like to research uh, your family. So, thanks. I doubt you'll find much of interest in there. They're mainly law books. Charles okay. Penman was a prominent judge in the 16th century. Sad to say, he lost his son at a young age. Oh no. Left his estate to his grandson, Thomas. Have I got another message or is it just... So why has my phone got an exclamation mark? I browse something new on the internet? Oh, Beast of Blackmore. In 1557, sheep herders reported seeing a creature with gleaming red eyes, the head and fur of a wolf, and the body of a human. Oh. On the moonlit moors surrounding the Blackmore estate in Essex County, England. The sightings, the sightings continued off and on for decades afterwards, sometimes accompanied by reports of missing dogs, cats, and lambs. Oh no. In 1650, when the owner of Blackmore Manor was tried and later burned at the stake for witchcraft, the number of sightings skyrocketed. The beast continued to be spotted on a fairly regular basis through the mid-18th century, but after that was barely seen. Rarely seen. The last reported sighting was May 1990. Well, I'll be darned. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to look for some specific books later. That checks out. Cool. So there's the library and uh, Mr. Whatever. <laughs> Mr. Guy. Hello. Stern looking gentleman. Okay, what? Uh, what's the other way? In recognition of Bridget Penvelin, sponsor of the Essex Cricket Club. Nice. Congratulations. Wonder what happened in there. Please stay out of the kitchen until the fire damage is repaired. Oh, fire damage, criminy. I mean, a fire happened, I guess. Any anything going on there? What about in here? Is that the main hall again? 
thought there was another door. Am I just getting confused by the layout? Yeah, I thought I came through that door. Unless there's just two that lead back into the same room. Oh yeah, they lead to opposite sides of the room. Okay, that's fine. I'd better and, stay uh, inside. If I track mud in the house, Mrs. Drake will kill me. Yeah, Mrs. Mrs. Drake isn't letting me leave the house, so I guess I'll go back upstairs. I have a feeling I should solve that puzzle from my room, right? Um, was my room? No, my room was the other way. God, Lulu, you freaking me out. You're startling me, scaring me. Oh, this is not. Lulu, please. Although, why is Lulu's? Um, oh no, that's the room where they're doing the lessons. Am I allowed to meet Jane today, actually? Hi! You must be Nancy. I'm so pleased you're here. I'm Jane. I know you've come to visit my stepmom, but I'd love it if you could pop by whenever you get the chance. Oh, we'll have such fun. Let's play a game. Oh, we'll have such Thank fun. You. Would you like to play? Let's play this card game I found in your room. Actually, it's Bridget's room. I mean, it used to be her room. I mean, she died like 300 years ago. You can see a painting of her in the Great Hall. She's the one with the telescope. I knew okay, it was a telescope so you have stand. To match up a pair of constellations. I made all the matches in 25 tries. Try to beat my record. Ah, uh, that is so kid. It's like a. It's just her trying to show off. Bruce, Columbia, Cygnus. Cygnus! Cassiopeia. I've forgotten what that one was. Lyra. Cassiopeia. Columbia? Goose. Columbia. Corvus. Scutum. Corona. Lyra? Corona. Aquila? Yes, that was lucky. Scutum. Musca. Crater. Telescopium. Musca. Telescopium. Gr gr ah. Goose. You beat Oops. my score! Felicitations! That was Felicitations! Fun, like I'm a very so normal much. child. Sure, what do you want to know? About Mummy? Uh, I mean, Linda. I do hope you'll help. She's been a bit out of sorts lately. Oh, poor Jane. When did she start getting sick? I was playing in Mummy's room when she wasn't there, and when I looked up, there was a lady, all dressed in black, putting something on Mummy's nightstand. What the fuck? Did you recognize the woman? I couldn't see her face because she wore a cape with a hood. The lady put a note on Mummy's nightstand, but I didn't read it. That's when Mummy started feeling poorly. I don't want to think about that. Let's play a game. It will cheer me up. Sure. What okay. would you like to play? Look inside the chest over there and pick a game. My great aunt said it's a hope chest, so I put my games in there in the hope someone would come over to play. Oh. We can play bull, constellation match, Petroglyph Punch, Skull and Bones, and I also have a jigsaw puzzle. You sure have a lot of games. I love games. I want to make computer games when I grow up. Cool. What a cool little kid. Why are there eyeballs in here? <laughs> so that would be the match game we played. Can right, I try let's the a puzzle. jigsaw puzzle? Let's see how quick your reflexes are. I'll time you. Oh, On no. your mark, get set, go! Oh, bloody hell. I, I didn't know it was going to be speed puzzling. Oh, Five this looks minutes. quite. This looks quite frightening, actually. This is a really freaky puzzle. Uh, I just want the edges, please. Edges only. Is that? No. Okay. Edge. Edge. Those two go together. I guess they don't snap in unless you got them in the right place. Maybe this one goes in this corner? Oops. Which means this one goes up here. God, this is so fr this is a weird puzzle for a kid. This is kind of a weird kid. I kind of love her. She's awesome. That means this will be like four minutes. Ah! Oh Jesus! Um. Oh Jesus Christ! At least once they they're in the right spot, they're in the right spot, you know. Middly bit. Need more corner pieces. Okay, there's the other corner. 
and it's got like a bit of face in it. Now oh, I need the, there needs to be the bottom pieces. This one. Yes. Oh, it's so weird. Three minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Just but, but don't panic. Remain calm. We're being challenged by a small child. It's okay. It's not gonna. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, right. Um, more edges. Why must I fail the jigsaw if I don't do it in time? Do I just have to do it again? That feels like it would be cheaty though, because now I have a better idea of how it is meant to go. Two minutes. Oh, it's okay, I've done it. There. You're quite reflexive. Thank you. Have you ever seen anything strange outside? Once Jeez. I saw my Uncle Roger's toupee fly off during a windstorm. <laughs> Talk about freaky. Oh no, poor Uncle I Roger. Mean, have you seen a strange animal outside? No, but I have heard weird noises like this howling. But not like a dog howling, more like something human. I don't want to think about that. It's scary enough having to live in this gloomy place. Have you ever heard a person go, Nancy? The lady in black you saw in Linda's <laughs> room, did she look like anyone you know? Like I said before, I couldn't really see her face, but she was kind of dressed like the lady in the Great Hall. Which lady? Ghost. Eleanor. I know it sounds weird, that's why I didn't want to tell anyone. It's too creepy. Sometimes I wonder if I just dreamed it all up. Mrs. Drake is always saying I have a rampant imagination. Do you think there's a treasure hidden around here? I highly doubt it. I mean, if there were, wouldn't someone have already found it? When I asked Ethel about it, she said that it's the pen villain name and heritage that should be treasured. Blech. Blech. I should get going. Ta-ta. See you later, uh, Jane. Good chat to you. Okay, we'll save some games for later. We can't... I want to use up all the games our first minute here. What a... what a nice kid. <laughs> She's kind of cute. Nigel gave Monster that to book. me when I was in the library once. I think he was hoping it would scare me, but it didn't. I'm too smart to believe in that sort of stuff. Good kid! The real deal on mummies, witches, werewolves and vampires. Werewolves! Uh, how interesting. Lycanthropy. Since ancient times, the cunning savagery... Savagery? The cunning savagery of wolves has both terrified and awed the humans with whom they came into contact. In Europe, where wolves were a constant threat to livestock and, allegedly, to small children and lone travellers, legends as to their evil viciousness became widespread. And then we chased them all out of England. No more wolves here! Predictably, one of these legends involved humans who could transform themselves into, themselves into wolves. These creatures were called werewolves. Were means man. <laughs> and the transformation came to be known as lycanthropy. The symptoms of lycanthropy. Descriptions of werewolves and the transformation process itself had varied greatly throughout the ages. Blah blah blah. Appearance of a wolf, half human, half beast, fingernails, eyes change shape. Personality, they became more ill-tempered and aggressive. They usually went into hiding. Oh my god, Linda's turning into a vampire. Oh. Psychology plays a significant role into lycanthropy. Wanting to imitate if not actually become the thing or person that one fears the most seems to be a part of human nature. If you can't beat them, join them. There is so much information in these games. It's crazy. Oh look, this a number. This number just might come in handy. Yes, Paliki Veras. That could be a that could be a useful contact, hey? I can't believe it. She's totally turning into a werewolf. 